Hey everybody, it's Melissa. I had a little project I wanted to share with you today. I made these cute little ribbon flowers and I thought I'd show you how to make them. They're super cute. They're made, this one's made out of grow grain ribbon and a button and some scrappers floss. This one's made out of satin ribbon and a little brass brad. I thought that was really cute. And this one's actually doubled up with a little brad in it. And here's the little, this is a narrow ribbon. You could either use this, you know, inside of one of the other flowers like that or just by itself. And that's got a little sparkly brad in it. And this is one that I started that I haven't put a center in yet. So that's what that looks like. So let me just go ahead and get started and show you how to make that. It's really simple. Um, I do not sew. So that's how easy it is. You don't have to be able to sew to know how to make this. And I'm using, <clears throat> excuse me, linen thread. Um, this is for book binding. But of course, I think regular thread would work. And then I'm going to use this grow grain ribbon, which I believe, yes, is 7 eighths of an inch. So you just um, put your needle in there and start stitching like you would to do, to do a regular stitch, just like that. And then once we get a bunch of stitches on the needle, then we're going to gather them. And we just keep going, and it'll, once you pull the thread after you've gathered it, it's going to automatically go into a circle. So you just kind of keep going until you think this is probably not going to be quite big enough, but we can go ahead and see. I'm going to pull it out and see where we're at. So that's about halfway or a little bit more done. So then we just keep going. So you just do it until it looks right to you. Gather it up some more, see where we're at. I think almost just a couple more stitches. And I think we'll be there. There we go. I think that look, looks good. So then I'm just going to snip off. I'm going to leave a little bit extra just to make it easier to work with. And then, let's see, I'm going to pull it. And then I'm going to line up the two ends. So the, it's the end that I started with and the end that I just snipped. I'm going to line it up. And then I'm going to put a little stitch in it to hold it. There you go. And you don't want to pull that too tight once you get to there because you don't want to, you don't really need to gather that. So then I'm going to tie a knot. And then I'm going to cut off the excess. And then I'm going to cut off the extra ribbon that I had. And then voila, there we go. Isn't that cute? And then I can put a button on it if I want to. I, I don't think I'm going to put scrappers floss on this button. I think I'm going to just leave it the way that it is. And you could sew the button on there if you wanted to, or because I'm not a big uh, sewer, I just use score tape. I just put some score tape on the back of it. And then just put it right there in the center. And then just smush it down. And there you go. Cute, right? Thanks for watching.